Ho, ho, ho. Happy Friday, Team Biosafe. Hope everybody's doing good out there. I apologize for being a few minutes late. Had a few technical difficulties with Instagram, trying to get everything logged in, but uh, should be good to go now. Um, I'm excited to talk to you guys today about a new product offering that uh, Biosafe has, uh, you know, basically engineered, put together, and has tested and you know, made sure is going to have the success that we're looking for. Um, it's called Calox FT, and it's going to be a calcium supplement, guys, that is geared towards, uh, you know, basically correcting any deficiencies and making calcium as available to the plant as it possibly can be. Um, you know, I guess I should kind of start out and say, like, what is calcium? Uh, calcium is a mineral nutrient that is utilized not only by uh, you know, plants, but mammals as well. Um, it's important for cellular processes as well as, uh, you know, rigidity and things like that. Uh, Prohibition Cultivation is saying, will the product be available in Canada? Um, I will have to double check on that. Prohibition, I think we're going to register it in Canada because it's a fertilizer. Um, so it shouldn't be as complicated to get up there. I'm pretty sure you guys will have access to it. Um, but basically, calcium is not only a precursor to a lot of other processes, but it's very important for cellular function as a whole. And the problem with a lot of calcium is that it is a traditionally a mobile nutrient, and that's what makes Calox FT this much more valuable. CDG Farms is saying, will Oxyphos or Xeritol help treat hot lapnoid viroid? Uh, CGD or C, yeah, <laughs> CDG. Um, we do have growers that have anecdotally told us that it's helped them suppress the symptoms, but I can't make that claim because it's technically not on the label right now. So unfortunately, um, I I can only give you anecdotal evidence at this point. Um, I have had growers say that it does help suppress, and you know they've had better crops utilizing that ISR response and keeping things clean. Um, back to the uh, Calox, though, guys. Uh, you know, traditional sources of calcium um, on organic levels usually are going to be something like an oyster shell or maybe a uh, calcium lingosulfonate that's been chelated with like a lingosulfonate molecule, which is almost like sawdust. Um, and then there's obviously, you know, like calcium nitrate, calcium chloride, um, you know, calcium gluconate. There's a bunch of different kinds of calcium that are of, you know, basically available to growers to be able to utilize. But what makes Calox FT unique, guys, is how we have combined the calcium with a zinc oxide and a 1,3 diphenylurea or DPU. The DPU is really what gives the uh, Calox FT that extra little oomph and uh, allows it to be um, more available and more mobile than a traditional source of uh, calcium. Uh, guys, when we talk about how calcium is absorbed, we need to you know, think about the pathways that the calcium is uh, you know, basically taken through the plant with. And so I, uh, I put together a little chart here to kind of help explain how calcium is traditionally absorbed through the apoplastic pathway. It uh, will go through basically the outsides of the cells and any calcium that's available you know is going to metabolize a little bit in the red there but as you can see there's not a whole lot of equal calcium and the dispersal is only you know going to be as good as the epiplastic flow is you know uh, dictated whereas over here with the diphenylurea we're able to use something called the symplastic pathway and as you guys can see we can go through the cells themselves and basically equalize and standardize the amount of calcium that each cell is going to get. And so by utilizing that 1,3 DPU diphenylurea, we're able to translocate calcium to all the cells and uh, ensure even dispersal. And, you know, that's very important because, you know, in a crop where uniformity is key, um, you know, being able to have a consistent calcium level is going to not only allow you to have a more consistent harvest, but you're going to have a better, uh, you know, shelf life. You're going to have better storage from said product. Um, a lot of growers will use, you know, like silicates to be able to reinforce their cell walls because calcium is hard to get into, you know, the, uh, 
the cellular tissue uh, traditionally, but by utilizing that diphenylurea, you can actually utilize calcium in a way to fortify your cells and, uh, you know, ensure even dispersal throughout the entire plant. Uh, you know, that's, that's the benefit of Calox FT over a uh, traditional calcium supplement is the fact that you're going to be able to have, you know, basically even dispersal throughout the entire plant instead of localized amounts where uh, it is, you know, going to be high in some places and almost non-existent in others. We're able to eliminate that variable. Um, we actually did a, a study. If uh, you guys want to go on our website, we have the uh, Calox FT page uh, the little product page, and it, it actually shows a uh, study on mustard greens on how when it was sprayed with just regular calcium nitrate, there was a little bit of calcium in the localized area that was, you know, basically applied. But in the uh, mustard green that actually got the diphenylurea uh, in conjunction with the calcium nitrate and zinc oxide, Calox FT, it equalized the calcium throughout the entire plant, and so you are able to have that even dispersal, which means that you're going to have a much more uh, consistent harvest in terms of, you know, you're not going to have certain plants that weigh a lot and other plants that don't because of the fact that you're able to, you know, basically equalize the entire plant's amount. Um, you know, it improves availability and uniformity, guys, so that's very important. There has been documented systemic responses from calcium uptake and dispersal in this way. So if, again, just like in the same way that oxyphos, you know, is like giving a flu shot to the plant, having a, uh, you know, systemic response from the calcium is going to allow you to have that much more of a benefit from the products that you're utilizing. Uh, it's obviously going to decrease and reduce any deficiencies related to calcium um, and anything relate, uh, you know, basically that's a cation to calcium. So when, uh, you know, you want to uptake certain other things like potassium, for example, with excess calcium uh, supplementation, you can metabolize it more efficiently, which is huge. Um, it really does optimize everything in the plant because of the fact that cellular processes are going to be on, uh, you know, a level of 10 out of 10. It's uh, definitely going to allow you to have a better shelf life, storage, and longevity out of your finished product because, again, thicker cell walls are going to give you, uh, you know, a better dry weight out of your product. So, you know, utilizing calcium is clutch for uh, our industry. And, uh, you know, last but not least, guys, Calox FT is tank mixable with a lot of stuff. So you don't necessarily have to dedicate a spray just to a calcium application. You can always kill kind of two birds with one stone, like I like to say, and, uh, you know, be able to fortify your plants and garden thoroughly with, uh, you know, out having to add extra steps, so to speak. Um, I will open up the floor now if anybody has any questions about Kellogg's FT or... Uh, you know, any of our other products. I, uh, I apologize, guys, if I missed any of the questions while I was going through it. I just wanted to make sure we got through everything in terms of Calox. Okay, I think, uh, I think we're good. I hope everybody has a happy holiday. Um, I'm going to be off next week, but we'll be back the week after with another Fireside. Keep the, uh, you know, comments coming, guys. If there's something you'd like me to cover, please let me know. And, uh, I hope you all have a happy and safe weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.